because it does get pretty smelly with the gas. Yeah. Okay, guys. So I know I uh, have been slacking on the content lately. I got kind of upset because um, I blew out cylinder three and old rim rim over there. I think there's a hole in the piston. Moment of silence for rim rim. So yeah, uh, I'll probably be doing a 6G74 swap into that. Uh, actually, I am. I I purchased a uh, VRX 674 the other night, last night actually. So that'll be getting that. Um, I guess for now we'll we'll be working on Richard, the uh, Turbo 420A that I have. So what I'm doing at the moment is uh, putting these new injectors. When I first did the turbo build, I had 315cc injectors, which it was flooding the engine because um, I'm not I don't have a tune on this engine. So I read that you can have up to 25 pounds on the stock ECU. So I got these 24 pound Bosch uh, injectors, and um, they're from a comp company called Trey Performance. So I'm gonna see how they do. I do have the 255 fuel pump on here. Uh, I do still have the um, FMU by OBX. And I just put a new front, um, what is that melting? My welds are terrible. Well, they're not mine. They were from the shop. I just put a new uh, O2 sensor in the front and it's running a lot better. The first O2 sensor blew from having the engine so rich with those 315 injectors. Um, these are the 24 pounders. They're supposed to snap right in, but uh, we'll see here in a second. Um, I just got the, so in, in order to take off the uh, injectors, you just pull the coil off, bam, take this vacuum line off, and I actually need to run this to my catch can. I just got a catch can over there hanging out. Um, right now, there's two bolts on the fuel rail. They're 13 millimeters. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'll go ahead and let you guys watch. I'm gonna put it somewhere y'all can see. My arms are gonna be all in the way. I'm just gonna put it on my head. How about that? kind of hot still so I do have gloves but this is kind of one of those areas where I kind of need to be able to feel with my fingers so I need to clean this valve cover too. Oh shit. There's that, and now the um, the rail just pops off. But I like to let it come off and then just kind of drain a little. Well, the fuel pump's working. 
shit. Alright, well, I'm going to, I'm going to let that kind of air out a little bit. There's gas all over this GoPro. And I need to clean, up, clean off my GoPro, so I'll be right back. Well, the uh, gas smell is gone for the most part. All the gas dried up. Still going to cover my mouth a little. Last time I did this and it did that, I got a pretty decent headache. Okay, so... Just pops out. Yeah, it looks the same. So what I've noticed makes it easier to put injectors in is to uh, just get a dab of uh, shit. Dab of oil, rub, rub it on the O-rings. Makes them go in easier. Motherfucker. Ah, shit. So I'm going to put them on the bottom first and then I'll put the rail on top. They just pop right out. I mean, there's no, no trick to taking them out. You do gotta kind of wiggle them a little to get them in. But they just pop right in.
shit is hot. Oh, cock sucking fuck. Sorry for my extreme language, guys. But it just dropped right down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just back the car up. And I've broken this thing twice already, so. I've learned to just open the door. Shit is hot back there. <sighs> Motherfucker! Which is gonna be at the end of the damn driveway. All right, it's in. Shit. Okay, we'll put the fuel rail on.
Who the fuck? Alright, back to this. Son of a bitch. Okay, now I'm recording. I put, I put the thing on. I thought it was recording, but it wasn't. So, the easiest way I do this is just grab the middle here and shake until it seats all the way down. And you don't want to let it up too much without having a bolt in it because it will back off a little.
All right, guys. I had to get my uh, Uber Eats. Well, uh, the bolts are tight both, so I'm about to put the harness back on. So that's the hood for you. It's blowing for no reason. It's whatever. These plugs go with the uh, little cutout part facing the uh, fuel rail. Supposed to be powder coated, but this powder coat is coming off. Thanks, Facebook dude. first the throttle cable okay. oh shit I forgot to put the clips back on Now with these clips, you can rotate the injectors backwards, put the clip on, and then rotate it back. or anything that's why the uh, oil is on there let me move around just a little With the clips just kind of make sure everything stays tight
All right. And I only have three clips. I lost my other one. So whatever. Oh. These are tens. And you just want to have it tight enough to where it's not pulling, but it's right there. And then I need to get some more hose so I can run it, run this to the uh, catch can, but for now I'll just put this back. It leaks a little with the boost. Start it. these injectors aren't too much. Got the plug in the distributor or the coil. It's probably flooded to shit. See what happens. I'm about to take it for a drive in a few. When I go drive, I'll uh, let you guys come. What? What you got? What you eating? What are you eating? What are you eating? What is goldfish? That's nasty. That's old. Okay, guys. So it's uh, I don't know if this GoPro is gonna show this or not, but it's it's back to like the 14s. Um. It was rich at first because I just flooded the shit out of the engine. So I'm just gonna do a quick down the street and back, see what it's doing. Well, it's better, but it's still getting lean under boost. Um, I do believe that the FMU I purchased is not working that well. I did buy a Vortec. Yeah, like it's 14s under uh, under boost. It needs to be 11s. 
I got a 12 to 1 FMU, but it's still not getting enough fuel. Yeah, it jumps up to like 16 under, under boost. It's definitely running better, but it's not, uh, not what it needs to be, so. I'm pretty confident the FMU is um, is not doing what it needs to do. So I'll wait till the Vortec comes in and uh, see what that does. And let's see what this code is. But it's running a lot better than it was. that I mean it's not it's not throwing any codes I guess you know I'll drive it for a while and see what it's doing but uh, I should probably do that while the car is not running yeah 14 15 under boost which is cool, but that's not that's not what we need. I want to run safe boost. This is just a daily. I'm not driving this on the track or anything. But you know, if I'm on the freeway or something, it's it's gonna build up, and I don't want to be running super lean. So. Yeah. Sounds good though. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. So I uh. Went and got this old Amazon little uh, muffler. Sounds pretty decent. Don't you say holy shit. <laughs> it was $40 on Amazon brand new. So it was a good uh, good deal. I mean, it sounds decent. I wish it was a little bigger, but I mean, I can't complain. It hangs kind of low, but um, hey, man, you get what you pay for. So um, hopefully soon, old Rim Rim over there will be back up. I'm putting a, well, I told you, I'm putting a 7.4 in it, so. Yeah, man, stay tuned. I'm going to keep putting content up as I mess with uh, old Richard over here. Say bye, Jai. Bye, Jai. Oh, oh, my. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>